friends welcome back to my channel and a very good uh, morning to all in this video so if you have been new to this channel then make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as click the bell icon so that you could get our notifications whenever we post a video so let us start this sunday first with the uh, equidor small finance pack so one of the key factors uh, which made me to speak recently about equidor i mean i have spoken about this companies uh, so called virgin the company's growth so if you want to see that video you could uh, see this video after this video and there will be a description I mean, there would be a separate column so that you could click that video and also watch that video also if you wish so recently there was an update in the stock exchanges regarding the what's called uh, disclosures in the sebi region so what they want to try to say here is that the gross advance of the loan giving has been increased from 14000 crores of previous year to 17000 crores so quarter on quarter is a 4% growth year on year there is 20% growth this is what a business can do okay so with this kind of incremental uh, so called uh, loan advances growth i think it's going to be very important and total deposit is now in the range of around 15800 or oh, in a simple say let us take it as 16000 crore so if we compare year on year it is almost 50% incremental growth in deposit and i mean always i see these things right always see the deposit casa ratio provision coverage ratio and uh, npa ratios and capital adequacy ratio these are the main five ratios that we will need to see capital adequacy ratio as well as pcr ratio npa ratios we could see in the quarterly report of this company in the q3 result which could i hope which could come by january end or february first week depending upon the outcome of this company's uh, so called result okay so casa ratio as you can see here as mean casa I mean casa means current account into savings account okay so it has jumped from being in the range of around 2196 crore to 3967 crore so which means basically from 2000 crore it has jumped to 4000 crore which means uh, around 81% uh, year on year return and 20% quarter on quarter growth so both deposit has grown 20 times so if you compare here what i am trying to say you can realize here the so one of the main things that i am focusing on uh, both or to say equity of small finance bank as well as idfc first bank is this simple reason the corporate governance and the belief that i have in the management to grow into a greater bank so understand one thing equity of the equity of small finance bank it is not a regular bank and uh, idfc first bank is not a small bank but it is a regular bank and that's what make a differentiation so i am having a bet both on the small finance bank as well as this idfc first bank so this video is specifically for a so called equity of small finance bank let me show you one another important what i want to share with you the share price uh, recently those traders uh, who have entered previously with uh, me as a disclaimer i do hold some positions in this share saw a greater buying momentum up to 42 rupees i think 42 rupees so one of the main problems that differentiate or one of the main problems that the trader have in a market is the market price for an example we can take an example let us assume that you are going to buy a land let it be any land in a any sub part of city or village after you buy the land you don't check regularly the price of land after wait around 5 or 6 or 7 years you will sell the land that time you know the prices okay so that is how a investor should be if you want to regularly track the performance of this company regularly see how the management is performing but not the share price and that is what makes a difference because one of the time the company may post good result like the good uh, outcome like this a share price may go up to 50 rupees also who knows i mean i am not saying 50 rupees is a target but i believe that a substantial growth is there for this company because having a market cap of around 4400 crores and posting a profit of around 100 crore to 120 crore per quarter i think it is cheaply valuated i think that is a cheap valuation i could give because if you go and compare it to ujwal small finance bank or au small finance bank i can't be able to digest it because i expect at least a 1 billion dollar valuation from equity to small finance bank and i believe it maybe within a period of around 6 to 12 months i believe this 3000 crores of gain could be coming for the bank because assume one thing let us take for this whole year the I mean for the next four three quarters the company is going to post a simple profit of around 100 crore 
If you multiply it by 4 means you are getting 4 on the crore per quarter. If you multiply by 10 times it will give you a market capital of around 4,000 crore. If you multiply by 15 giving you around 6,000 6, crores per crore. If you add some additional points to the deposit and the cost are ratios, the provision coverage ratio benefit, it will come up to 7,500 crore. And mainly one thing we are focusing on retail book. You can understand one thing, whatever the picks, India World Housing Finance, Eura Small Finance Bank, IDSC First Bank, all these three picks, what I am focusing is that these companies are focusing on retail segment. So what is the benefit of retail segment? The risk aversion is less. Why? There are many customers. How? Because each and individual has their own set of debt issues, etc. in the market. And this is about Equator Small Finance Bank. Yes, I expect a strong re-rating in Equator Small Finance Bank. That could not happen suddenly. Maybe within two days, the share could not go into 40% of upper circuit. I don't believe such kind of myths in the share, I mean, particularly for a banking share. But I believe there should be a growth story of this company. If many people ask me what is the target of Equid or Small Finance Bank, understand one thing the company has just known from the company is going good. Let us stay positive, let us stay in the share and let us believe that the company will possibly be good because the Equid as holding company, such as Lister Longpad, is doing exceptionally well in the market. So, particularly believe that some value unlock should be there maybe some buying pressure or a hitting accumulation pressure is been in the market so the banking shares as well as equidas has not performed but they believe as the days goes by the quarter three and quarter four this is going to come by i expect a strong re-rating in the share price in the upwards maybe period of around six to twelve months i expect a billion dollar valuation for gate small finance bank limited for the what the company is doing when comparing with the peers of small finance bank listed companies in india so there are three companies listed one is gate small finance bank second is uji one small finance bank third is AU small finance bank out of these three things not only because of the share price but i believe the greater company could be equal or small finance bank with respect to the competition of the financial performance given by the company. Thank you friends and bye.